And then there was Madonna, who began her career in the early 80s, and she made her deal with the devil. A very untalented person, but nevertheless succeeding because she vowed that she was going to do whatever it took to destroy morals and values and all things godly in pursuit of fame and fortune. So Madonna, through catchy tunes and fashion, always pushed the boundaries of censorship, always sexual in nature, and always using that music to capture the minds of that generation's young ladies who all wanted to be just like her. And so she began to thrive and became a household name and, I guess, by this world standards an icon. She continued on, always reinventing herself in order to stay relevant and famous. Madonna kicked the 90s off with Vogue, and as censorship was lightened, she took advantage of that and brought new levels, greater levels of lewdness and sexuality into her music and her videos, seducing a new generation to go with her deeper into godlessness and, again, debauchery. As she dove into Kabbalah and just outright Satanism, even incorporating all of this into her live performances and her music, the crowds, the masses, were experiencing a transition where the lines between good and evil were blurred. And uh, through the moniker of artistry, you know, I'm an artist, this is just all art, she was able to successfully continue her rampage against God. Openly mocking Jesus Christ was an all too common thing for Madonna. It just became natural to see. And again, this would desensitize the masses. And so while they were being deceived, it became less and less shocking because she did it with such frequency. Until culminating at the 2012 Super Bowl halftime show, Madonna put on such a satanic performance that even to the layman, it left nothing to the imagination as to who she truly served. This was one of the most satanic performances ever seen on national television. And this woman showed the world that she has zero fear of the living God. But I think even more disturbing is the fact that you could see she takes great pleasure in what she's doing. To her, it's all worth it for fame and fortune. Now, delusion is a strong thing. And while we clearly saw that Madonna was aging, she couldn't quite grasp why, at least by the world standards, they wanted new, younger porn singers. And so she began to do new things to try to invent herself, but this time it wasn't working. And so we come to today. Now here is Madonna today virtually unrecognizable, looking absolutely demon-possessed. Under her belt, so much plastic surgery that most people wouldn't believe that this is the same person. This was an article from Yahoo today, where she had done Instagram videos. Here, this one, she lip-syncs to Kendrick Lamar but again, virtually unrecognizable. And she is rounding up her career on social media as she continues to post some of the filthiest pornographic 
social media videos, uh, things that I can't even really discuss, nor would I want to. But this woman is 64 years old. And again, delusion is a strong thing because in her desperation, trying to do any and all things to remain relevant and famous. Now, in the book of Mark, chapter 8, if we scroll down, we can read, For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? How is fame and fortune worth it? If you look at Madonna, you've got 40 years of sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Now, she has traded that for eternity separated from the living God to be thrown into the lake of fire. She has made the choice to rebel against God and to live a debaucherous life, to just do that which she wants to do. It just isn't worth it. And you think about a person who is 64 years old coming to the end of their life and still continuing in their delusion to do some of the most anti-Christ horrible things against God and now finds herself spiraling down into pure madness. Now here's the tragedy of Madonna. Because she chooses to do all of this publicly, it's a spectacle for all of us to see. How is this worth it? Through all of her hit singles, through all of her wealth and her fame, through all of her fashion and her trends, and yes, through all of her botched plastic surgery, how is this worth it? She still has time while she draws breath to repent, to come to the saving and loving grace of Jesus Christ. But I fear that throughout all of her rebellion that she will not do this. So again, I ask you, is 40 years of fame and fortune in a world that is dying, is that a fair trade for all of eternity in the lake of fire and separated from God Almighty?